created our piece. Now we've got to clean up the mess we made. Not too hard. I like to take my bucket and I like to clean up the supplies at my station because that means I don't have to carry it all to the sink. So I'm going to rinse out my sponge and then wipe off my tools. I didn't use this one so there's no reason to clean it. And you're just going to make sure all the clay is off because when clay dries it turns into dust very quickly and very easily. And clay dust has something called silica in it. Silica is not good for our lungs. So it can make your asthma or bronchitis or any other kind of respiratory problems you have worse. So cleanup is a very important part. So after all your tools are cleaned up, just set them to the side on your station. And then the next person can come in and they have clean tools. my towel I'm gonna to put in the towel bin because it helped me keep my hands clean but it's still dirty you can go ahead and wipe down this part of your station too for any extra splashes so I need to make sure my wheels turned off let's hit that orange button okay this piece here what we're gonna do you're gonna shift it back towards where you were sitting you're gonna take one side off and then the other. Now, science tells me that this water will fit back in here. So I'm going to pour it back in so I don't have to walk all the way across the classroom. If you have a lot of extra clay in here, you can take it to the sink and rinse it out. But you're going to want to make sure you strain it through this. We don't need clay in our sink drains, so the strainer will help keep the clay out. So, you're just going to wipe down these splash guards. Any extra clay you might have, just set it aside for right now. We'll recycle it for future projects. Cards clean. I'm going to want to make sure my wheel is clean as well, so I'm going to give it a wipe down with my sponge. And then I'm going to take my bucket and my strainer over to the sink. The last thing you need to do is make sure that your name is on your piece. So, you're going to take a plastic bag put your name on it and then we're going to cover it up so it dries slowly. Your extra clay will go back in the recycle bag and you're good to go.